All right, now the next step is we have to read the PLC tag in our Scala screen for the Siemens PLC. So I will show you one small example. Let's say we have a letter logic which says a memory bit M10.0 is energizing an output Q0.0. So let's read the status of these tags. So we know that our memory bit is M10.0. So what I will do is I will go to my Siemens and take a new tag. So it will be new OPC tag. And here I will take the server name, copy item path, paste it here. And because this tag is my Boolean tag, and I will write the name m10.0. This is just the name of this. Oh, what? M10. Or maybe it doesn't take the dots. So I will write m10 underscore zero. Yeah, that's fine. So here in the OPC item path, what do you have to write here? Now, this is very important. We have to write here the name of the PLC. So if I go back to my ignition, go to the status, and then go to your device and see the name of PLC. It's Siemens one. So this name. Okay. So this name I'm going to take here in the bracket. So I will use this bracket. Notice that Siemens one and close this bracket. This is the first step. You have to put the brackets, write the name of your PLC name, which you defined in the browser. Okay. Then I will write M and I will not write M10.0. This will not work. You have to write X. X defined, it's a Boolean address. So MX10.0. Click enter or whatever. Click apply and click OK. So you will find the tag here. Okay. So let's take this tag here. Display multi state indicator. It says it's off. And if it's on, I will change the text from auto to on color will be green okay so let's test this one so this is my TR portal I will put it here and let me energize it manually this is on and this is on here so this is reading the value of m10.0 and in the tag I have done nothing just name of the PLC mx10.0 and my OPC US server okay so let's read the output as well so I will copy this tag and I will paste here and rename this to Q0 underscore zero. This is my first output. And here, instead of M, Q0.0. Apply and OK. Take it here. And I can change the status. Since, let's say motor off. If it's a motor or whatever it is. motor on okay so motor is on at the moment and we can also write here if it's a switch switch on switch off okay so that's the status of switch that's the status of motor because both are on so both are green if I turn it off switch off and motor off so this is one way to do that Oh, this looks strange. Motor off. Oh, okay. F is not visible. Yeah, no, it's fine. So this was just the indicator for switch and for the motor. But let's say if you want to turn on this switch from the button in the SCADA, what you have to do is go to the components and take a button. Take this button here. And in this button, you can write, wait, uh, where is the rename button should have some properties common appearance oh I should select it yeah that's my switch I have to write here as well text switch so that's my switch and if I want to use the switch to turn off my uh, this switch which is M0.0 what you have to do is just take this tag M10.0 drag it on the switch now this is tagged with M10.0 okay now if I go now all you have to do is just click on this play button toggle between preview and design mode 
okay now this will be zoomed off so and that's your let me just resize it this is fine and PLC is here so when I click this button nothing happens let me see you have to also make sure here you see communication read only you have to make sure it's communicating read write so I will change this one read write and when I press this one wait a second the switch is tagged let me go back to stop oh, this switch has a different properties I'm pretty sure oh yeah okay this switch has a different properties compared to the other switch this I forgot to explain you if I use two state toggle like this one and if I drag the stack here like this this is going to work so if I press this this is on and if I press this again it will be off so you can see that this is off and this is on now let me just delete this one first this is my switch and in this case if this is showing me the status already I don't need this indicator I can delete that and I have my motor status here I will tell you how to use the tag for the button because that was I <laughs> almost forgot because I'm using this ignition after a long time so that's my button again it's going off so it's off it's on and it's on and it's a retentive button it retains the state this is a kind of two state toggles we can call it this is a switch okay but this was what this was a button and we use this button in different way so I will come back to this button uh, very soon but this is just a switch for on and off but if you want a toggle switch or if you want a push button this is not a push button if you want a push button then we use that switch so let me tell you how we can do that I will turn this stop so let's see how we can use the button so go to the components and components and take a button so let's call this button as a start button which we can do here we will want to use this button as a momentary switch so double click this button and you will see some actions here now we want to have an action when the mouse is pressed and when the mouse is released okay so you click on the mouse and you will see mouse pressed and mouse released so double click on mouse pressed and you see there is no action so go to set tag value so here you can say set tag value again set this tag now which tag so we'll select the tag from here so select the tag so this is m10.0 click ok so when the mouse is pressed this tag should be true so I will write here 1 ok click apply and I will copy this copy this uh, the source and when the mouse is released I will set this tag again to 0 so when the mouse is pressed it will be 1 when the mouse is released it will be 0 click apply click ok now this is your push button and this is your toggle button let me just make it equal size um, this is for our motor so let's try this now you can see that PLC here that's my Scala screen okay let me just do that like this okay so I press the start and you can see my tag is on when I release it my motor is off so this is start and stop so this is my push button and that's my toggle button this is working like before I hope this makes sense and that's how you can read and write the values from Siemens PLC tags so we, we are just reading the direct tags from here okay we are not reading the database in the next video I will show you how to read the tags from the database in your kind of software which is also quite interesting and quite important lecture because most of our information is in our DB and we should know how to access the DBs. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.